Welcome to another cloud computing video from explainingcomputers.com. Cloud computing is where software applications, data storage and processing capacity are accessed over the internet. The cloud computing revolution is now probably also unstoppable. In this video, I'm going to explain the three reasons why. Whilst most of us use electricity, very few of us generate it ourselves. Rather, we obtain electrical energy from networks of stations like this one. Fairly soon, the same logic will apply when it comes to computer power, with most of us plugging into the internet when we want processing capacity or software applications. A century ago, most companies were still generating their own power. However, by the 1930s, virtually all businesses had decided to rely on electricity from a national grid. Initially, many companies had been worried about switching to an external supplier. However, it soon became obvious that in-house generation was no longer cost-effective. In a striking parallel to the big switch of a century ago, today cloud vendors can provide computer power far more cost-effectively than most internal IT departments. By switching to cloud computing, companies can therefore save money and remain competitive. Indeed, most vendors now claim cost savings of at least 50%. As well as reducing IT costs, cloud computing is also more green. Whilst most private business data centres can only run their servers at maybe 30% capacity, most large cloud computing vendors can run servers at 80% capacity or more. This means that energy is saved, as well as the carbon footprint of each unit of computing power being reduced. In addition, to allowing servers to run at optimal capacity, cloud computing will also drive a transition to more energy efficient PCs. In fact, very low power computers based around processors such as Intel's Atom are perfectly sufficient to run cloud applications. Switching to such low power devices can also cut end user energy bills by as much as 75%. The use of cloud conferencing and collaboration tools may also allow some people to work at home more over time and to take fewer business trips. Cloud computing may therefore help to take some cars off the road and some planes out of the sky. As well as being more cost effective and more green, Cloud computing is also essential for many next-generation computing developments. For example, the augmented reality applications that are starting to appear on some smartphones all rely on real-time cloud data. Already, an application called Google Goggles can identify objects in view and overlay visual search results on a smartphone display. The Layer browser can similarly superimpose augmented reality cloud data on a real-time view of the world. In addition, cloud-based language translation is now also available, with both Google Translate and the Google Docs cloud word processor able to convert a website or document into another language in seconds. Visual search, augmented reality and online translation are the first of many new types of computer application that will be entirely dependent on the cloud. It is therefore very important to recognise that the cloud computing revolution is not just about doing old things in new ways. Over the next decade, cloud developments will make computing not just cheaper and more green, but also more collaborative, more intelligent 
and more readily available. The opportunity for IT departments is therefore to help end users to achieve new things only made possible by cloud computing. Cloud computing is becoming essential to be competitive, to be green and to enable innovation. Few companies can therefore ignore the cloud computing revolution. Indeed, for most businesses, the only real choice is whether they want to be part of the cloud computing steamroller or a traditional computing road. More information on cloud computing can be found at explainingcomputers.com forward slash cloud or in my book, A Brief Guide to Cloud Computing. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.